G'day, Tom from Smoky Pastures Barbecue here. Today we're doing a cooking video and I'm gonna show you how to make a simple, easy, delicious, and impressive chicken roulade. There you go, stay tuned, cheers. All right, so what is a roulade? Well, roulade is uh, just a French term for anything rolled with a filling. So in this case, we've got a chicken breast and we've got our fillings over here. So we've got some cream cheese, chopped pistachios, diced cranberries, and we're gonna season it on the inside and out. So I'm gonna show you a basic, easy preparation of this roulade. We start with our chicken breast. We've got the skin off chicken breast here. You can do it with skin on. Uh, I'd recommend cutting it um, and then putting the skin back on afterwards and then rolling it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the tenderloin. Uh, you don't have to, but it does make it easier. I like to keep that tenderloin just for pan frying up for the kids. So what we're going to do is just make two cuts in this and butterfly it out. So we start off with our first cut. Now be careful cutting towards you. Uh, so you always sort of cut downwards uh, in a downwards fashion. This is going to be our presentation side, our top side. So we want to make the cut in the bottom third of this uh, chicken breast here. So we go like that opening it up till it's sort of nice and flat there and then we're going to make our second cut in this meaty part that we've got left here and then flip that out like that so when we fold it up we're going to have a nice fairly even piece of chicken there to roll up and make our roulade so at this point, I've pre-cut some butcher's twine, and we're just gonna start off by putting our cream cheese down first. Now, I'm using pretty much the last of this tub of cream cheese, so I'm gonna double dip with my fork here, but not a great idea to use a knife into the uh, onto the chicken and then straight back into the tub of cream cheese. Not very good for cross-contamination. So just sort of spread this out nice and evenly. This is gonna make a nice filling also going to help all of our ingredients stick to the inside of this chicken. I like plenty of cream cheese. You can use ricotta, um, just about any, any sort of cheese filling. You can even use some hard cheese, like just some regular grated cheese. So next thing we're going to do, we've got our game on seasoning here. Just going to do a little bit of a light rub on the inside. And then we'll start adding our other ingredients. So we've got cranberries, these are going to add a nice little sweet pop, a little bit of sugar in the rub, but these are going to add a nice little bit of sweetness and a little bit of tartness in terms of our filling here. And then pistachios are a nice flavour. Um, I've just given these a light chop so they're not too big and chunky when they're in there. And uh, they're going to add a little bit of texture as well. So now that we've got that, um, I'll turn it towards you, but basically we just start rolling this up and it's pretty much as easy as that so what i like to do is have the knots for the string on the bottom side of the chicken breast so i'll just um get my string here and just bring it in underneath only probably need three pieces we're not really tying this too tight and i'm just going to do the most basic easy cheats knot to tie this up so all you do is get your string, fold it under once, twice, three times, and then you can cinch that up and it should stay tight on itself. Do a double knot and then I'll trim those up if I can find my scissors in a minute. So I'll quickly do these next three. This is a great little preparation that's super easy. Add something to the basic chicken breast. Looks cool. Um, I think you'll like the finished result um, in terms of when you slice it open it is a bit of a crowd pleaser so you know something to do to fancy up the humble old chicken breast so there we have our nice little roulade there and I'm going to season the outside of that uh, just before we hit the smoker Okay, we just dumped some hot briquettes I've lit up in my chimney into the cold basket of the Weber Go Anywhere here. Vents open on this side, 
draw a bit of air in. We don't want to cook too fast though, so just one side of bottom vents open. And then we're going to have our meat put on the rack when our slider into place, like so. And then we're going to have the exhaust vent open on this side only to draw some nice smoke flavour up over the meat. So we got uh, olive pipco briquettes here and some nice natural smoke uh, peach wood. Uh, just a little chunk and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the hood off and let that wood get real burning real nicely um, just so we're combusting and getting some nice clean blue smoke so we don't get any of that bitter smoke on our chicken which can really soak up the smoke flavour. Um, I've got enough coals in there I think to last me the whole cook. We're only going to take about 40 minutes to get this to done temperature. I'm not too worried about the actual pit temp. But I will throw in the old ink bird probe here just to give you an idea of what temp that pit's sitting at. We're aiming for 165 Fahrenheit internal on the chicken breast and I'll come back to you and show you how we're going in a few minutes. Okay so we're up to that uh, rough oven slash roasting temperature now. So open the lid and we'll just get our chicken here seasoned up with the, uh, the rub on the outside don't want to keep it too far away from the uh, the heat source we want to cook this in a reasonable amount of time let's come back and see how that's going in about 20 minutes okay it's been about 20 minutes let's have a little look how she's going colors looking great got a temp check in the uh, thickest part still a little bit to go so we're going to leave it maybe another 15 still plenty of heat in those briquettes so check back in about 10 15. okay so it's been about another 20 minutes about 50 minutes total cook time and those briquettes are still holding a pretty good temperature so let's just roll the hood back and we'll give it a test checking that thickest part there we go 165 that's what we're looking for so that looks gorgeous. We're just going to take that off, give it a five minute rest, and just slice it up straight away. Okay, here we go. And uh, if we have a look there, beautiful roll, very juice, very tender. Love that. Success! Okay, so got my little uh, cross section here. Check that out. Beautiful cranberry pistachios all through there. It's still very juicy. What's a cooking video without a little taste test? So, mmm, that's gorgeous. Cranberries add so much flavour, and realistically, chicken breast is generally pretty boring, but. That's awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.